enough. That's enough. Okay, thank you very much. We'll come in. Uh, we celebrate this special day. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to use the sheet because I'm not very good at remembering crib sheets for very long. Um, but as the bride's father, I have the great privilege of making a first speech and preparing the way for the star speakers, the groom and the best man. <laughs> In fact, since Daryl first learnt to speak, I think it's only the, fir the first time I've actually been allowed to do that. <laughs> I'm going to get clogged for that comment later. I'd like to welcome every one of you here as you play some part, however small, in making this day special for Daryl and David. And because of that, yours present is special. Right, here we go. Darwin and Mum be worried about what I might be saying about this today. So I had to prepare two speeches. <laughs> one that passed the censure of Mum, and one that I have in my pocket. <laughs> But to survive, I might best spit mainly for the one I've already done. <laughs> Ever since Daryl was born back in the 27th of May 1986, I always knew with her punk hairstyle, she was very vocal. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Many is time that wife and I have seen her in the back garden, or watched her from the back garden, singing to her hairbrush in her bedroom. In fact, I'm really glad we were in the garden. <laughs> Because we couldn't hear her, she's as tongue deaf as I am. <laughs> there are many other stories I can give you about Daryl. And I'll regale about those later if you want all night. But you know, there's about a dimple spot. Adam did it, the remote control, Kung Fu fighting. And if you want to hear about those, obviously, Adam, Jay, and myself will fill you in in the details, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I must admit, I've been looking forward to this day for a very long time, just to get some revenge. <laughs> Ever since Daryl stole my mint shop ice cream in Dartmouth when she was two, <laughs> she wanted a green one, and I had to give up mine. <laughs> and I think that's where her chocolate addiction started. So what I would say to you tonight, don't get in the way of either Daryl or myself in the chocolate fountain, though. <laughs> because it's ours. <laughs> I did tell Daryl many years ago that I did cartwheels down the aisle when she got married. Now, I'm not sure if I'm up to that, especially in the suit. But I might have a try later on after I had a few drinks. <laughs> and just to show you, all of you, about Daryl's caring and demure attitude, demure attitude, her natural singing and music talents, I've put them together in a few video clips. Not for now, but if you see myself, or Liz, the best, best bridesmaid. <laughs> bridesmaid. We've got portable DVD players so that you'll be able to watch them and enjoy to your heart's content. And Dave, you can keep the copy. <laughs> Dara and Dave both worked in Iceland and Plymouth where they first met. And Dave certainly, certainly found the best way of winning her affections when he gave her a teddy bear. Now he's got a house full of stuff <laughs> toys. A few of them actually seen them, they don't. <laughs> but I feel in David she's found a perfect match. Because they've got a joint love of World of Warcraft. <laughs> a similar sense of humour. And I did actually suggest that they should have got married in costume. But that was turned down. I don't know why. I believe her costumes were rather revealing than that one. But one of the best highlights of this wedding, and I'll grow up to this wedding, was watching my dear wife Jane having to contain herself for over a week that she knew David was going to propose to Daryl. It was fun. <laughs> There she was in the queue at Cadbury's World, when we were going to visit from chocolate. <laughs> Daryl saying, David's been a bit strange the last week. I think he's broken something. <laughs> Maybe he wants to break up with me. And we were saying, well, no, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to welcome David as part of our family. 
The added bonus for me is that I have a new victim for my practical tricks. <laughs> Remember Christmas and the strawberry creams, David? Mm, this is very much a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the bruises from Beryl. Oh, she was laughing at the same time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you all be upstanding? We have a beautiful bride, a handsome groom, and a poor father. <laughs> so please join me at some. Darrow and David. Darrow and David.